Hey everyone, so I'm back at it with the eBay fix. Here we have some Victor Roth flower bomb perfume, a favorite of many. And let's see if it's fake or not. Okay, so right away, um, it did, the colors don't seem very vibrant. Um, the cardboard seems a little flimsy, but I've, I've never owned this perfume before. Um, the box is damaged, which would be kind of okay, but um, a lot of these fakes just seem like they've been like traveling a long distance or something. Um, if you look at the cellophane, it's kind of like not like perfectly, um, okay, it's not like very well um, folded. Like this wouldn't even be able to move around. Like this is just how they folded it in the factory or whatever. Um, right here, it's just not very uniform. I don't know, this plastic just looks bad. It's loose, like it's loose. Little rip, I didn't do that rip. Oh, I think there's, that's just a seam. So yeah, like it's just kind of messy cellophane. Serial number, I don't know what else you guys would like to see. <clears throat> so you can kind of compare, look at videos of real ones and fake ones and kind of determine what yours is if you got one on eBay or wherever. This was um, $70 and it normally goes for like $85. So yeah, I was like, ooh, $70, it was a new listing. I thought it would be good, but then after further research, I realized it's probably a fake. Oh, and also for their details is this is raised above. I don't know how the original is at all, but yeah, this is Parfum. I did look at some fake reviews and it said Parfum, perfume on the box, but the actual bottle, it said Eau de um, Toilette or whatever. What is it called? Toilet, <laughs> toilet spray, um, cologne or whatever. So yeah. Hopefully you got a good look before I um, tear it open. Okay, so we got it out of the cellophane and kind of one piece. <clears throat> um, so here's what it looks like. Cheap plastic. <clears throat> I actually smelt, I can kind of smell the aroma and it actually smells good. Um, I don't know. Yeah, I don't think it's real. Like, I'm actually kind of questioning questioning if it's real. But mm, it does smell off. But it does smell good, but yeah. So this white, or this um, pink is very faint. Um, I don't know if I could put it up against. Well, this is a hot pink bag. That's like a totally different color. Um, I don't know if I have any light pink stuff to put it up against. It's very faint, and maybe the real one is not so faint. I'm not sure. Maybe it's more of a vibrant pink. But yeah, so let's see. There's another coat there. Let's see how it looks inside. Oh, also, like the perfume is like moving around in the box. I don't think they would do that. Dented. What else was I going to say? I forgot. Okay, let's do the big reveal. Let's see how the actual bottle is. Um, I, I have to... Okay. So, let's see. Uh, is that what you would want to see in a nearly $200 perfume? Okay, the lid is kind of off. <clears throat> so, it's probably like a return. So it might be an authentic return, but um, yeah, it's definitely not brand new like they said in the listing. So let me go ahead and take some pictures of this for eBay. I'll be right back. Um, but well, we can kind of look. So it looks a little scratch. It looks scratched on there, and I don't know what's going on here. Like they kind of like tore through a hole or something. So yeah, these are just all signs that it's not authentic to me. Um. I'm just kind of feeling this material. It's kind of it's kind of thin uh, cardboard, which is easy to bend. I don't know. They would have that in the original, and the the bottle like moved around. Like that's probably why it went all crazy like that. Because 
probably moving all of, around from China or wherever, being thrown around. All right, I'll take some pictures. I'll be right back. Okay, so we're back. So I'm just gonna put my finger through that. Okay, so right away I don't see that little tab that has like this mini version. Oh, uh, wait. Okay. Um, I don't see the tab that has like this little um splat thing. It, it smells like um, when I walk in like the teen section of like Kohl's or something. Oh, that just easily came off. Um, so yeah. How does this come out? So it's missing that little thing. It's got this kind of poorly um, put on plastic. I don't know why it's not focusing. It's like kind of got these weird like little squirrely parts hanging out. That might be glue. I, I don't want to um, push it off because... Um... Okay, so there's nothing on the bottom that would say like audio poofoon, like this many milliliters or whatever. That's a little weird. Um, yeah. It's fake. <laughs> and uh, it looks like it's been sprayed also. Yeah, this one looks like it's been sprayed a few times. What a jerk. I need a level surface to show you guys, but you can kind of tell. It's been sprayed a few times. And yeah, so that's what a fake looks like. I'm 100% certain this is fake. Um, I, I know that they would have, you know, milliliters on the bottom, I do parfum. Yeah, this is glue. Like, this is not part of this plastic. This is glue for this label. So yeah, just like really uh, crappy... Um, manufacturing or whatever just sloppy which you would not see in a high-end designer perfume it does smell pretty good um yeah it actually smells all right yeah it's it smells all right so I would not wear it though um just subconsciously because I know it's like yeah it just smells a little cheap I'm curious to like smell it side by side with the um, original because the original is very floral and kind of young and that's what this smells like but for some reason I don't like this one. Maybe if I smelt them side by side then I would really tell the difference. Uh, but yeah, just first impression I would not want to put that scent on me. So yeah, that's that. So hopefully you guys can tell that it's a real, that it's a fake, a real fake. And that's about that. And of course it's missing that um, little black tab on here. So yeah, I'm going to take a bunch of pictures and then do an eBay return. And that's that. I can't think of anything else to say. Let's see if this cap even like goes on. Okay. Wait, that's weird. That's a hard snap. Okay. I feel like it's a little uneven. Anyways. Um, I do give them props for making such a spot on fake. I don't know how people get away with this kind of thing. Like if I do get the original, I will surely make an unboxing video so you guys can compare the two videos. And yeah. So you can definitely get authentic ones on eBay also. Um, I think at Sephora this perfume is like 160 But I'm, I'm like almost 100% certain you can get the authentic one for like $85 on eBay. And there's some really good sellers that have great reviews. And, um, and they say authentic on their listing. Guaranteed authentic. So, um, it's a really good bet that you will get the authentic item, and if you don't, you'll likely get a free fake, but, um, yeah, there's just some listings that are free authentic, but, um, I just wanted to save, like, $15, and I, I took a risk with this one, and 
yeah it happened to be fake okay thanks so much for watching everyone have a great day bye